Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about three-phase AC asynchronous electric motors. It's helpful to have a working understanding of AC motors so that when we're replacing one or troubleshooting, you have some contacts on each of the components and how they work. You'll find a wide selection of fractional up to a thousand horsepower AC motors at emotorsdirect.ca. We distribute Tico Westinghouse, Leeson, Marathon, WAG, Boulder, and Nidec and ship across Canada. If you'd like to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified next time we post a video. And thank you to all our followers who have been supporting us. You'll likely come across multiple AC motors in your day-to-day -day life finding them in almost every room in your home as the main driver of your appliances. They're in washing machines, ovens, gardening equipment. They're also very common in industrial applications. Before we discuss how the induction motor works, let's do a quick run through of the individual parts. Starting at the large drum, this is the housing that holds most of the parts. We usually refer to this as the enclosure. This box attached to the enclosure is the connection box. This is where you'll hook up power to the motor or wire peripheral controls into the circuit. At the back of the motor is the cover that protects the fan. This fan is also there for reducing heat. The fan is attached to the shaft, so its cooling ability is directly influenced by the speed of the motor. The shaft is the only moving part of the motor and is the component that drives the equipment it's attached to. We'll take the motor apart now to take a look at the internals. The shaft sits on bearings on the front and the back of the motor. The bearings hold the shaft in position and help it rotate smoothly, reducing friction and wear. On this end of the shaft that goes inside the motor is the rotor. The rotor is always made up of a conductor, whether it's a coil, solid, or squirrel cage type. This motor's conductor is a squirrel cage. And finally, we have the stator. It's made up of thin steel laminations and copper coils that run through these slots. The copper wires are covered in enamel insulation to avoid short circuiting and to help protect from heat damage. The ends of the wires connect to the terminals in the connection box. The coils are pairs that make up a phase of the each pair sits opposite from the other in the stator and is rotated at 120 degrees from the other two phases. All right, before we dive in, let's cover some basic electrical theory. First, AC motors run on alternating current power. Alternating current, or AC, periodically reverses direction. This means that it alternates between positive and negative multiple times per second. Second, frequency is how fast the polarity changes from positive to negative. For example, if you have a frequency of 60 Hertz, that means the current switches direction 60 times per second. Third, AC motors take alternating current and convert it into mechanical power through electromagnetic induction. So let's put this back together and see how it works. Power is applied to the coils in the stator. The charged coil becomes an electromagnet generating a magnetic field. The coils are supplied with alternating current, so they're charged in pairs alternating in sequence with the frequency of each phase. This causes the magnetic field to rotate around the stator. The rotor is mounted inside the stator, suspended in a magnetic field. As the magnetic field rotates around the rotor, an electrical current is induced in the rotor. This current then produces its own magnetic field. As the stator's magnetic field rotates, it repels and attracts the rotor's magnetic field. The rotor begins to spin as it tries to catch up with the rotating magnetic field, and in turn, drives the intended load. The AC motor's simple design includes only a single moving part, offering you a low cost, quiet operation, and a long lasting motor option. Head to the link in the description to shop the largest selection of AC motors in Canada. Leave me a comment below with your questions. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's largest motor search engine. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.